Hey guys, it's Sandro here with a bit of a mixed video today that looks at some trigger spray and pump action foaming bottles as well as a quick detailer and how the C quartz coating I applied to the Alpha Julieta is going 18 months on. Now as I give the car a wash, I'll discuss the new detailing products I've been testing but not go into the actual wash process or products as I usually do. So if you want some more information on that process or the products I'm using, I'll add a link in the description box to a couple of videos that should answer any questions you have about these products, the techniques I use, why and how often. So for those of you that have been following the Alpha Julieta QV on this channel, from the first series of detailing videos to the numerous wash updates over the last year and a half, you'll know that it underwent a high-end paint correction process, was coated with C Quartz UK and has been fairly well maintained with regular safe washing and top coat applications with CarPro Reload every few months. You'll also know that it's a daily driver and has been parked outside 24-7. Now after the car is washed and dried, you'll hopefully be able to see that the paint is still in fantastic condition, with great levels of gloss and just very minor defects, which are things like some new mild scratches and scuffs and a couple of tiny dings that have just magically appeared over the last year or so, most likely from public and shopping car parks. But with those unfortunate things aside that are really out of my control and honestly nothing overly upsetting, the paint is still in amazing condition. So firstly, I've been testing the Quasar Mercury Double Action Trigger Spray Bottles. Now these have been around for many years, but as far as I know, no one's sold them locally. So eBay was the only place to get them at crazy inflated prices and long delivery times. But they should be available in Australia soon and from what I've been told at extremely reasonable prices. So I was given a few different colour coded bottles to test out about two months ago with chemicals such as degreasers, APCs, wheel cleaners, iron and tar removers and so on. And for those of you that aren't familiar with the Quasa double action spray bottles, each time you spray the trigger and release it, you get two pumps of the product dispersed rather than just one as per normal spray bottle. So in essence, they are twice as quick and require half the work or squeezing action as a regular spray bottle, making them a great time saver and far less fatiguing to use. In addition, they come with wide flexible siphons, so you can use them upside down or at any angle with continuous product flow. I honestly love these bottles and so far they've proven to be extremely chemical resistant, with only the metal siphon weights starting to turn purplish with the iron removal products. But even after two months of use, it hasn't affected the performance of the spray bottles at all and just seems to be a cosmetic thing. But you also have the option of removing the metal weight and just using them with the straight plastic siphons if you wish. The bottles also have a clear window slit on one side, allowing you to see how much product is left, as well as volume measurements for mixing your chemical dilutions. Now another obvious choice of sprayer to use instead of these double action sprayers is a pump action pressurized bottle, which I also have and use from time to time. But in my particular circumstance and for my personal preference, I just like these a little better as there's no need to stop and pump the pressure. But again, it really depends on your situation and preferences.
So sticking with Quasar, the next is a 2 liter Venus FOMA. Once again, this isn't a new FOMA, being around for many years. But it's also going to be most likely sold locally for the first time and I got a chance to put it through its paces. Now it actually comes with black, blue and white coloured nozzles, each of which slightly changed the consistency of the foam. But I personally found that the black nozzle created the best snow foam. In relation to using it with the actual car wash or snow foam detergents, I tried it with both Concourse Snow and Snow Plus, as well as CarPro Reset and Auto Finesse Avalanche. And in each case, I found that a higher dilution ratio of 1 to 15 to 1 to 20 seemed to work much better than the standard 1 to 10 dilution used in a pressure washer foam lance. You'll also see in the footage that as I progressed, the foam actually got a little better and required less pumping up. This was due to the fact that when the foamer is full with 2 litres of solution, it can't store as much compressed air. But if you start with a litre and a half of liquid instead of 2, you can actually store and build more pressure, which creates a far better foaming experience. And a litre of solution should actually be more than enough to foam an entire car. Now as you can hopefully see, it certainly works. And in the case where you don't have a pressure washer or don't wish to use one, this can be a great alternative that is both quick and uses less detergent and water, while still being very effective as a pre-soak foam to soften and loosen the dirt and grime prior to rinsing down the vehicle. I've also tried it with other chemicals such as degreasers and wheel cleaners and it seems to work fantastic, creating increased lubrication as well as dwell times. Now I'm sure I'm going to get several questions in the comments section asking me how it compares to the IK foamers, which I'll answer here by saying that I haven't tried them yet. So many detailing products and so little time. But from what I've seen and been told, the Quasar foamers seem to be pretty close performance wise, but will actually be significantly cheaper in price, making them extremely great value. I can also let you know that I've tried the larger 6 litre Quasar foamer which really does increase the foaming time, being able to foam the entire car in one go, as well as being a step up performance wise. But its bulk does make it a little less convenient, especially if ease of use and space is an important factor to you. Now just before I get to the final test product, I want to talk about how the C-Quartz coating is going 18 months on. So as mentioned, the C-Quartz coating has done a fantastic job of protecting the paint since it was first applied. But as you'll see, the coating is finally starting to show signs that it is beginning to fade and wear. It's certainly not entirely gone, but it is starting to diminish in certain areas, indicating that it is on the way out, which you can see more clearly on the bonnet, where the water is starting to pull and display only mild hydrophobic characteristics in certain areas. Now you may think that 18 months isn't anything special for a ceramic coating to last, and if the car had been garaged, even in part, I may be inclined to agree. But you really need to appreciate that for a coating to be exposed to the harsh Australian elements, day and night, for over a year and a half and still remain, is actually an amazing achievement that, in my experience, many other coatings don't live up to. I can also let you know that I've coated many of my past garage cars with Seacourt 2K, and the coating in those circumstances lasted up to three years and beyond. So onto the last product, which is a prototype quick detailer spray, but really like no other quick detailer on the market today. Now I've actually featured this product in a couple of my past videos during the maintenance washes of the Audi A6 and Audi S3 a little while back. And for the most part of this year I've been testing it and retesting it as it's gone through various stages of formulation tweaks and improvements. I've discussed in the past that there are so many products like quick detailers just flooding the market today that are honestly decent products, but really don't offer anything new or a point of difference, but are rather more of the same thing in a new package. So when I get the chance to try a product like this one that pushes the boundaries and redefines what a quick detailer could truly be or should truly be, 
it really makes sifting through all those copycat products worth it to find the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So to break it down, the first word in Quick Detailer is obviously quick. And saying that this product is quick to use is a gross understatement. You can honestly whip around the car in less than 5 minutes using this product with a little spring in your step. As it's just insanely easy to wipe down without any streaks or high spots whatsoever. And you can also work large areas at a time and it's most definitely a sun friendly product adding great versatility. I'll even go as far as to say that this final formulation is the easiest product I've ever used in over 20 years of detailing. Which again is by no accident but the result of a year's testing and tweaking to create a magical user experience. The lubrication that this quick detailer provides is completely off the charts and really does set a new standard that also makes it a perfect drying aid to minimise scratches. Yet it won't destroy your microfiber towels and make them useless like many other quick detailers and spray waxes and sealants. But now to the good stuff about this product. Every quick detailer on the market will always alter the way your paint protection product both looks and behaves by masking it with its own layer. And the truth is that if you have a quality wax, sealant or coating on your car's paint, it'll always be superior to any quick detailer you use. So wouldn't it be great to have a quick detailer that doesn't mask or alter your paint protection of choice, but rather revives it to how it looked and behaved the day you applied it? Well, it just so happens that this prototype product does that very thing. If you apply it to bare, unprotected paint, it's not going to so much change the paint or water behaviour, but it'll still improve it. While if you apply it to protected paint, it does the very same thing and improves the paint protection, making it look and behave as it did originally. You'll see here on the Alpha Julieta that when I apply it to a section of the bonnet where the coating is almost completely diminished, it doesn't create beautiful water beads. It only improves the finish without overly changing it. And when I apply it to the roof where the coating is still going well, it does create beautiful water beads. Once again improving the existing paint protection and reviving it. And I hope you can clearly see just what a massive difference there is between the water behaviour on the bonnet compared to the roof after using the same prototype quick detailer on both sections. It really proves that this product isn't masking the finish with its own finish, but rather just improving the overall existing finish on the paint. And a lot of testing has taken place to achieve this unique result. So onto some even better stuff about this product. This is not a durable spray coating or sealant. 
In fact, it's been purposely engineered to break down with your pH balanced car wash product next time you wash the car. But along with it coming off, it also helps remove the dirt and grime sitting on top. For a far better and easier cleaning experience, it also seems to at least help reduce water spots. In my opinion, this is what a quick detailer should really be. It should be a product that helps restore, protect and maintain your paint protection, keeping it looking and behaving its best, whilst being extremely quick, safe and easy to use. Now we know that I review a lot of prototype products on this channel that take a long time to go into production and reach the shelves. But without making any promises, as it's really out of my control, as I only test and give feedback on them, this new quick detailer looks like it might be finally going into production and possibly be available in the first quarter of next year if all goes well. At which point I'll do my best to let you guys know as it's really a product that needs to be shared. As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this video useful. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for these videos and I'll see you guys soon.